Hello everyone, we are heading to Ashina Depths. And guess what? We have another guardian ape encounter. If you watched my previous video, I showed you how to get the kill on the one you find in Sunken Valley. Now this one is very similar to that. However, there's some big differences. One, it's only the second phase version of the guardian ape. So if you remember how to do that, it's very much the same thing. Two, there's two death blow markers that you must remove. Now, after you remove the first one, a second ape is going to join the fun. His wife is going to join the party. So we're going to deal with two apes simultaneously. Now, this one also has far less hit points. As you can see, I am taking a lot more health off in my uh, encounter here. So watch out for that terror AOE attack. And then you can just block these uh, sw swing and sword swipes. And then the best, again, way to get the damage dealt is the same way with the other Guardian Ape is when he raises his head uh, sword above his head and then comes down and then if you deflect it, you can do a lot of damage in a very short period of time. Now, again, there's less health, but there are two death blow markers and we are going to have a second Ape join the party halfway through this encounter. Now, defeating this, we're going to earn two of the prayer beads one for each ape and we're also going to get of course a memory to increase our attack we also get the guardian ape immortality severed trophy here and that is for using the mortal blade to sever the guardian apes undying which i'll show you once we get to that point so we are just kind of doing our thing here against this one here's the sword raise and slash down and then of course if you deflect that he'll just fall to the ground you can do a lot of damage to him at that point as you can see, we've already got the posture almost broken. His health is almost gone. And speaking of health almost gone, mine's gone. I don't know what happened there. So let me go ahead and resurrect myself and get back into it. Now, after you do this first execution and remove the first death blow marker, a second ape is going to join. Again, his wife is going to join. What you want to do is target the second ape, the smaller one. And thankfully, the posture on this guy or this girl rather, is really easy to break. So just focus all your attention on the second ape and take care of it and knock it out as quickly as you can. Again, don't forget you can uh, still block attacks. You still want to use your evade. And while you can't exactly see the larger uh, uh, ape here, the guardian ape, uh, be mindful of his location so you can make sure you're not within path of him. He still does the AOE attack. So ideally I want to just try to stay away, but focus all your attention on uh, Mrs. Ape here. And again, it doesn't take too long to break its posture. And we'll get it. We'll get her right here. Okay, there we go. Now focus back your attention on the first Guardian Ape. And this is going to continue the exact same way it did in the first phase of this fight. Uh, watch out for the slashing attacks. And when he raises his sword up in the air, deflect it. And you can get the, a good amount of damage here. As you can see, his posture is just rising quickly. And I was in range of that terror attack. You make sure you're out of that AoE attack. When he does that dive forward, make sure you avoid that sword in his right arm as he's falling to the ground. Jump over it and you can just slash him a few times. Uh, you could be a lot more aggressive with this guardian ape than you were with the other one that we encountered. Also, in addition to getting to the memory and the two prayer beads and the trophy, uh, we're also going to pick up a ninjutsu technique as well. And in my case, it was my final one, so I'll get a trophy for that. So I'm getting a whole bunch of rewards for uh, completing this encounter. And we are getting very close here. Uh, once we get all our rewards, we still have to earn the Guardian Ape Immortality Severed Trophy. Uh, that is going to be another execution after all of this is over. And his health is almost gone, his posture is almost broken. So there we go. We're going to get the kill. We will have completed this encounter. 
And you see that big worm thing, that centipede looking thing that's coming out of his head? That is what we have to sever to get the Guardian Ape Immortality Severed Trophy. So we got the execution. Now we're going to get the memory so we can increase our attack. We are also going to get not one, but two prayer beads. One for each of the apes that we defeated. Now it's time to get the trophy. And you do that, just walk up to him and do one final execution here with your mortal blade. And you'll get the Nijutsu technique as well as the trophy here for the Guardian Ape. And if it's your last technique, you'll also get that trophy as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, found it helpful at all, hit that like button and of course, subscribe.